Hey guys, Caden here, and I'm going to make another video because I haven't uploaded in a few months. And I'm going to do the one thing that people get confused on with me, and that is programming. I am going to today be teaching you how to use Wick Editor, which is an animating program that's free. It's a website, and it hasn't been released yet, but you can use it to animate. You can draw something and then go to the next frame, which is a lot of you would know the term FPS, so that means frames per second. And this is going 12 frames per second, meaning every 12 frames would be one second in our time. So I could have this X, I'm going to turn on onion skinning so it shows you the last frame I could have this X turn into this line turn into this line and if we run it it's going to be very fast but it's an animation and I'm going to be showing you how to make a a very simple game animation. We're going to start off by adding a background and I usually do gray for my backgrounds just because it looks good as a background and you're going to right click you use the rectangle tool and this is the fill color and this is the outline color. I'm going to right click it because you see how it's a path right now that's because it's a shape. I'm going to turn it into a clip so like if you can't script a calf a uh, path but you can script a clip and script means code so what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to double click it to go into editing mode as what I call it and I'm going to make a second layer inside this is the inside of the cube or the rectangle. This is the editing for the rectangle. So I'm going to make another layer inside the rectangle and move it in front. This layer is going to be called the tiles because I'm going to make tiles that go inside the rectangle. I'm going to make this called background. And on the tiles page I'm going to add I'm going to go to the rectangle tool again. Or you know what? Let's do something different. Let's go to the circle tool and let's make a circle. I'm going to make a yellow circle. You'll see later what I'm making. I'm going to take this and move it off screen so it starts off screen. And if you do control and scroll at your mouse wheel, it will unzoom you. I'm going to do this and I'm going to add a little head for my creature. Then I'm going to use my lines and whenever you do a line, it, when you use the line tool, it does whatever your outline is, is the line. So I'm going to add my beak to my chicken. I'm going to try and make like a chicken duck thing creature. Then I'm going to fill the try and f yeah. Usually the some tools in here don't work correctly, like the eraser tool doesn't work correctly. So I'm gonna have to beak it. Color the beak myself. Not gonna look as pretty, but it's still beak. I'm gonna add an eye, and by adding an eye, the way I'm gonna add an eye is I'm gonna make a circle with a white inside and then make a circle with a black inside as the pupil. Chicken! He will have a wing. And this is no usual chicken, no. He has pointy wings. And the animation I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna try and make the chicken walk across the screen and you're going to have a character that you can use W, A, S, and D to move around with. 
He has his wing. Don't judge the wing shape. He's a weird chicken. He doesn't like when people call him weird, though, at school. It's a bad time. Then I'm going to draw his little feet. Little feet. Big feet. Big foot. His... What are they called? I don't know what chicken feet are called. Can someone in the comments tell me, please? One of my, like, friends, or someone who just watch, finds up and ends up watching my channel. I have this chicken now. And I'm going to... This chicken is on this layer of the rectangle, the background. Because this chicken is going to be moving across the background, you will have a character who is moving on his own. I'm going to select, let's say, the feet first. And the way you do that is by shift clicking. You click on one thing using the selection tool. And then you shift, hold shift, and click on another thing to select both of them. And I'm going to select the entire chicken. Officially making him part of the chicken gang. And I'm going to select this circle. I'm going to select everything in the wing. So I'm going to make all of this after I select everything in the chicken. I'm going to make it a group. So that it can move around on its own. going to right click it. I'm going to create group objects and I'm going to name this group chicken. And I am going, this is the part that will be hard to understand, but I'm going to go here to my project and put the frame rate or how many frames per second at 40. Because I want whenever you have your character him to move smoothly without much glitching or much lag. And then I am going to change the frame, the size of the frame, to 400, making it so it's 10 seconds long. I'm also going to change the size of the background to 400. And remember, this is all inside of the background. So whenever I go out, this is all going to be in one frame, therefore making me able to script it. I'm going to create a tween keyframe at the beginning. I'm going to turn this into a tween, and this might be hard, but the, a tween is something where you see how I had the tween keyframe at the beginning? That means at the beginning he will be standing here. And then I'm going to add a tween keyframe here to make it so by the time he is standing here, he is over here. And let's run this and see how it looks. We've got a chicken slowly moving across the screen. And whenever he moves out, comes back in. I am going to make this different, actually. Because I want to make it look smooth. So at the beginning, I'm going to make it so he's right there. So he'll come in, go across. He's going a little faster now. He'll go across, and then he'll go out here and come back the other way. There we go. And now, using our selection cursor, we double click out of the background, making it so all of this is just the background. And now we're going to add our player. I am going to do a simple, like, smiley face kind of person. Not the yellow. I'm going to make him blue. And he is going to be our little person. Let's give him some eyes and a line for now. We are going to select all of him and create a clip out of it. Create clip from objects. And we are going to name this clip person. We are then going to use codes from person that I have already made, so I am going. I've already made these codes. This is the first time me ever trying to do this background moving, and I've already made the code for him to be able to move. 
So I'm going to copy this code and then explain to you what it does. This code right here is in the person, making it so his step size, how big of a step he takes, is 5. And every update, or every 40 frames, they check and see if the key W is down, the key S is down, the key A is down, or the key D is, key D is down. And if the key W is down, it takes the Y of wherever this person is and minuses step size, making him go up. And if the key's S, it adds the 5 in step size to the Y coordinate of this person, the Y axis. It adds step size. If the key A is down, it subtracts the X position by step size and makes it go left. If the key D is down, it adds the X position, step, step size to the X position and makes it go left. Now let's see what we have made. We can move our person around and we have the chicken going across the background. And this is constantly going to loop, so the chicken's going to go out and then he's going to come back in. And our person is still moving around. Congratulations! If you have followed all of this, you can be awarded by happiness because you have made something for your first time. So, what should we do now? Nothing. You guys have officially made your first game. I mean, it's not the type of game you would think of, like a video game that you beat. This is just a game of a moving pers of a person that you can move around in a background. I will try and teach you more so you can take this game that you have made and turn it into something cool that you can show your friends. And now that you have done this, I would go to your project settings, which is up in the corner, and change your name of your project. I'm going to change the name of my project to Blue Moving Chicken. And then the way you save it is you go to File and you click Save Project. Saving Blue Moving Chicken dot wick. And now if you go to wherever it's saved, one let me quickly save it again. If you go here and click this arrow and click open it'll open the file or it'll open blue moving chicken but if you click show in folder it'll show you the folder and you remember that where that is in your folders and then whenever the next time you get on the wick you'll come on and you'll just have this You'll just have this, and it might say, would you like a project to recover? But if it doesn't, you go to File, you hit Open Project, and you go to that spot where the save is, and you save it. That's all for now. Hope you had a good video game. Bye.